Here are some math puzzles from the uh, let's do math.com slash solve me website. Uh, I've got a puzzle here and it's puzzle number three and it's telling me that both sides here this is an equation that has to be balanced. The total is 8. So I'm thinking to myself if the total is 8 then and they're giving me a hint here that each one of these is 2 then this side has to equal 4. So if this is on a balance of equations here if this side is 4 well then this side is 4 too. So it sounds really pretty simple here, but let's kind of, kind of take a look at how this would be written as a one-step equation. So if we substitute these two symbols here, and each of them equals 2, we would say that 2 plus 2, and then we have this unknown, which is the moon, and that's going to equal this total of 8. So if we combine like terms, 4 plus this moon is going to equal 8. And then if I subtract 4 from both sides, I'm going to be left with the moon equaling 4. Sorry, my moon looks more like a banana. But anyway, so I'm going to uh, type in 4 here, and hopefully our answer is correct. Yes! Okay, so let's go on to the next puzzle. Okay, wait a minute, wait a minute. There's no, there's no total up here. I'm stuck. What am I supposed to do? Well, I'm given this hint here that both of these sides are equal to each other. So if these hearts here, I've got three of them. So three of these hearts is going to equal 6. So let me just uh, write that here. So 3 of these hearts are going to equal 6. This heart here equals 2. And we don't know what the total is, but in a sense we do. We could kind of figure out if these equations are balanced, in order to keep them balanced and not one tipping over the other, both sides have to equal 6. And then if both sides equal 6, then, then that means the total is going to be 12. So let's just try to write out our equation here. So we've got 12. I might need to erase this. So I've got, uh, yeah, and let me go ahead and erase these. And I'm going to move this over here. So I've got a total of 12. This will give me a lot of workspace. Because there's 6 over here. You know, there's some unknown here, but I know that it's balanced, so 6 plus 6 has got to equal 12. So I'm just going to start writing out this equation here. I've got this shape, and I'm adding 2 because that's the heart. And then I'm going to add 3 twos. And let's take a look here. Let's see what I'm doing. I'm taking this part here which is this side of the equation, and I'm taking this part here, which is the second half of the equation. So now if I combine like terms, this is a term that we can't combine, but I'm going to add these up. 2 plus 2 plus 2 plus 2. 2 plus 2 is 4. Plus 2 is 6. Plus 2 is 8. So that's going to equal 8. And all of that will then equal 12. So now for balancing equations, if I subtract 8 from both sides, I'm left with the shape. And that shape should equal 4. So if I type in 4, let's hope we've got it right. Yes! Okay. On to the next puzzle. Uh, okay, we're still thinking that it's balanced here. I've got four of these, and they're telling me that each one of these is worth four. So how many? I have four of these. So this side, this side of the equation, would have to equal what? Four plus four plus four plus four. So all of these, whoops, I'm grabbing the, 
So all of these would equal 16. Now, 16, this is balanced, so this side has to equal 16. So 16 plus 16 is going to be 32. So I'm going to write this is going to equal 32. I know that this is worth 4. So I'm going to write out my equations here. I've got a 4 plus 4 plus 4 plus 4. And that re represents this side of the equation. And then I have a 4 here. And then I've got two upside down diamonds. Sorry, I'll just do the best I can with these shapes. Now, I'm going to combine like terms. I've got 4 plus 4 plus 4 plus 4 plus 4. I've got five fours, and that's going to be a total of 20. So I've got 20 of these things. I combine like terms of this. How many of these? I've got two. I've got two of these upside down diamond shapes. And that's going to equal 32. So now, if I subtract 20 from both sides, and I've got two upside down diamonds left, that means I have 12 over here. And according to this, I'll be dividing by 2 in order to get one diamond by itself, or one upside down triangle, and the upside down triangle should equal 6. So I'm going to type 6 in here, and I'm going to say here, let's just check, if I had that as 6 and this is 6, does that equal 16? I think it does, so I'm going to type that in, and yes! Okay, continue on and see how you do on these.